Benny McCarthy in an interview has made it clear that there is only one manager who really is better for the job at Manchester United than Eric Ten Hag. He had a ton of things to say in an interview which he did here in South Africa. Obviously, we know he's a legend of South African football. And he also was a coach at Man United for two years under Eric Ten Hag. Let's get into this video. Welcome to the Red Devils Den. Benny McCarthy sat down uh, in an interview with Super Sports, a channel here in South Africa. And he spoke about, he basically spoke about his time at Manchester United. A super, super insightful interview, an extremely insightful look into what actually goes on behind the scenes. He spoke about some negative things, some positive things. He spoke about good things, some bad things. Uh, but there were some really, really interesting ones. And the first thing I'll speak about, because I speak about Marcus Rashford quite a bit on this channel, is what he said about Marcus Rashford. Now, he actually came out with very, very good praise and positive talk about Marcus Rashford, saying that Marcus Rashford obviously is a player from the youth. He is a youth product. He's come from the development structure of Manchester United. And he is a good player. According to Benny McCarthy, Marcus Rashford is united through and through. There is a really, really good player in there. And he took the time to explain what happened when he came to the club and why Marcus Rashford, his turn in form became so good and why he started scoring so many goals. He simply said he just told Rashford the truth from the beginning. And he pretty much took a no-nonsense approach to Marcus Rashford and just told him the truth. He just told him, this is what a striker should do if you want to be a striker. And this is how your finishing should look like. And this is what you should do when you're trying to score goals all the time. And this makes a lot of sense coming from someone who is South Africa's top goal scorer and a prolific goal scorer in his playing days. Um, I think this is interesting to find out about Marcus Rashford. Obviously, Rashford's been under so much scrutiny. He's come under so much controversy um, for this past season and a half because obviously his form has just completely dipped. Is that down to Benny McCarthy leaving the club? I do not know. I'll leave that up to the, to the chat and the comments to decide on that. But the other thing that he spoke about was the training and the players in training versus what they do when they come onto the pitch. Now, this was an extremely insightful piece about it because he gave us the ins and outs of what actually happens when they train now according to Benny McCarthy when players trained on the training ground most of them were very very good at training not everyone hit the highest levels he named he mentioned two players Bruno Fernandes and Diogo Dallo who are the best trainers according to him um, they're always motivated always on time always giving their all but he said for most of it most players do do okay and while in training but then he said there was a strange disconnect when it come to when it came to the match or the game day according to him they would see two different teams it would be the exact same team that trained two days ago but when that team went on the pitch it was completely different and even the coaches and the manager had no idea what had been going on hence why you'd often see looks of confusion on the bench and the manager just either shaking his head or looking around, not understanding. And Betty McCarthy explains that this has happened because what they see on the training ground has been a struggle to replicate when it comes to the match day. Now, this, I think, is so true. We didn't even need him to say this. We, could, we can see that when these players come onto the pitch, when it's a real match or a real game day, they really do struggle. It seems like they maybe switch off. Maybe they can't switch on. Maybe the nerves get to them. I don't know what it is, but he says it's down to mentality. And I think this is something that has been coming on in this club for a very, very long time where we have players who supposedly do well in training, who do well in preseason. But then when the season hits, when the Premier League hits, when games start coming in thick and fast, it seems like either the pressure is too much or they can't switch on and they don't have maybe the mental capability to do it. And according to Benny, it is a mental thing. It's a mentality thing where they get onto the pitch and they can't really perform at the levels that they did in training. And what is the most important part? The game. Uh, we're here to, to win. We're here to get the points. We're here to win trophies. Um, and I think that, is, that was a really interesting one, considering the players were always blaming the players. I'm always blaming the players. Uh, with some blame on the manager, but I mean, the players have proven to us that they, don't, that they want to get rid of managers all the time. But 
I'll leave you. I'll leave that to the to to the comments. Remember, if you enjoy the content on the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button. We've been growing great in great numbers uh, with our new long form take um, to to YouTube. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Last but not least, the manager thing. Benny McCarthy was asked about who he thinks, considering all the noise around Eric Ten Hag, is he going to be sacked? Is he going to be kept? Who knows? He was asked about who would be the ideal replacement for Eric Ten Hag. And this answer was extremely amazing, simply because I did not expect him to say this. And secondly, he clearly sees Eric Ten Hag as a really, really good manager and coach. Hence why he names this man. So according to Benny McCarthy, the only person who can come in and really do a better job and take Man United to the next level, believe it or not, is Pep Guardiola. So Benny McCarthy has pretty much compared Eric Ten Hag to Pep Guardiola, which I think is a bit scary um, considering what Pep has done and considering what Eric Ten Hag has done. Uh, but I do understand why he would say something like that because of Eric Ten Hag's methodology and his tactics. It's not similar to Pep Guardiola, but you can see the kind of discipline that Eric Ten Hag would like to instill in his team that obviously Pep Guardiola has done in Bayern Munich, has done at Barcelona, and has now currently is currently doing at Manchester City. So for Benny McCarthy to come out and say that the only replacement that would actually do better than Eric Ten Hag would be Pep Guardiola. Now this is interesting on many, many fronts, obviously because every day we hear different managers who want the job of Manchester United, different managers who have currently declined, or managers that are interested in the job. Although according to a coach that was at Man United for over two years, Benny McCarthy says that there is only one manager that can really take United a level above what Eric Ten Hag has done to this point, and that man is Pep Guardiola. Um, extremely interesting stuff from Benny McCarthy. Obviously, he did spend time at Man United. Um, he's been doing quite a few interviews and speaking quite a bit. Obviously, his NDA is complete now, I'm assuming. Um, he's doing some other things. Who knows what his next coaching job will be. But I think the, the most important takeaway for me from this whole thing is that realistically, we're hearing all these things coming from inside the dressing room. We heard Diogo Dallo speak while he was on um, international duty with Portugal um, about the mood in the dressing room, about what the overall environment is. And I think this is something that has been coming on for an extremely long time. And the thing that we have to be extremely careful of and aware of is that there are many, many elements and not just the manager and not just the coaches or just the players. There is a environment that has been built up at that club for a very long time where players do sometimes struggle to do really well in that environment. And I think maybe Ten Hag is the guy to make it better. Maybe he's not. I don't know. We're still kind of on edge. What's happening? What are the decision makers um, thinking? Is he still going to be in the job? Are they going to stick with him? But I think that's some interesting. I just wanted to summarize what Benny McCarthy said, because I felt like it had a lot of interesting takes in it. He gave us a lot of insights into players into training, obviously into the manager. Uh, but let me know your thoughts. Do you agree with Benny that the only man who can save Man United would be Pep Guardiola? I don't know about that. Maybe it is Pep. Maybe it's not. Who knows what will happen. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Remember to hit a like on this video and I'll see you in the next one.